And the Tony Award goes to oh, Moulin Rouge. Yeah, the big winner at the 74th Annual Tony Awards was the musical Moulin Rouge. It took home 10 Tonys. The Inheritance won for Best Play. This year's award ceremony honored Broadway productions during the 2019-2020 season after last year's show was canceled due to the COVID pandemic. You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is now the top grossing movie of 2021. The Marvel movie made another $13.3 million this weekend for a year's best domestic total of $196 million. It beat out Dear Evan Hansen. The film adaptation of the hit Broadway musical opened in second place with a lower than expected $7.6 million. If going to the theater or the movies isn't what you're up for, there are a lot of new movies and shows coming to your home theater. Mm -hmm. Fox's Steve Rappaport runs down the new releases. All crime, including murder, is now illegal. Topping the list of what's new in home entertainment, The Forever Purge is the latest chapter in the Lawless Horror franchise. The fifth film features the members of the underground movement dissatisfied with the annual Night of Anarchy and Murder and decide to go on an endless massacre. Vera. Hello. Dan Stevens and Judy Dench star in the British comedy Blythe Spirit. The film centers on an author suffering from writer's block who accidentally summons the spirit of his first wife when he seeks help from a spiritual medium. Mr. Twist, what else can I call you? Oliver. The British crime drama Twist is a modern day take on Charles Dickens' 1838 novel Oliver Twist. It stars Michael Caine, Lena Headey, and Rita Ora. Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, guy. Available to own on digital, the sci-fi action comedy Free Guy features Ryan Reynolds playing a non-playable character in a video game, trying to save his virtual world from being destroyed. The film will be available on 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and DVD October 12th. How much speed do you have left? Enough for a few hours. From the small screens, the seventh season of the superhero series The Flash, and the first season of the supernatural mystery drama Nancy Drew. Love for sale. For music fans, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga released their Cole Porter tribute album, Love for Sale, and Trying Not to Think About It is the new album from Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter JoJo. I was going off that night. Steve Rappaport, Fox News. The Rolling Stones rolled onto the U.S. leg of their current tour without their legendary drummer. Their No Filter Tour opened yesterday in St. Louis, just a month after the death of drummer Charlie Watts. The tour is the first without Watts since 1963. Watts died in London August 24th after under undergoing surgery for an unspecified condition. The crowd of 60,000 shouted Watts' name as Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Ron Wood came up for the show's opening number. Jagger thanked the fans for their sympathetic outpouring of support. Steve Jordan has replaced Watts on drums.